All right, my name is Tyler Aiken and I'm Genix. And today, guys, we are going to finally, finally do the full room tour you guys have been asking for for so, so long. So if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. And for those of you that have been asking me for this full room tour, definitely the like button because it is definitely here. If you guys haven't seen part one yet, I'll put a little link in the description. You guys can go check out part one and I go over the uh, basically basically what is behind me in all of my videos. But this video right here is my entire room in one video. So guys, let's go ahead, let's come in here, let's take a look. But first, I'll let you guys kind of take a look around and then we'll join back up in just a second. Okay, so before we actually take a look at everything going on in the room, let's kind of give you guys a kind of frame of reference as to here's the backdrop of all of my videos, which of course is the backdrop for my videos, but also my entertainment area. If you guys haven't seen part one, go check out part one because I go deeper into kind of what's going on in all these shelves and of course all of that. But now let's kind of take you guys around the room real quick and then we'll come back and we'll talk about everything in a little bit more in detail. Of course, as you can see, there's a subwoofer here. We'll kind of talk about this a little bit more. Of course, as you guys can kind of see, this is kind of going on there. So you guys can have an idea of what's about to happen over here, but we'll come back to that in just a second. And then you kind of see my couch, kind of for hanging out when people are over, some more shelves of collectibles. Um, and we'll talk about all that in the corner a little more too. Here's my desk, of course, my amazingness. That is my, of course, desk and where I do all my editing, and all my gaming and all of that. Then of course, shelves and more collectibles. My figure arts zero collection up there on that shelf. Uh, some more collectibles, two closets, which we're about to get into in just a second. And actually, let's just go ahead, let's take a look at both of these closets right here, right now. So, that of course is just my closet closet. If you're not going to actually look into it, it's pretty messy, I'm not going to lie. Um, lots more Dragon Ball Z collectibles in there and stuff like that, but too messy, we won't talk about it. Which guys, you're probably going to say, Nano, what are you talking about? This, this closet's crazy messy. Well, cable management in this closet is not the best. As you can see, this is my basically media hub. We're going to talk about kind of what is all is going on when I say that in a second. But let's take a look at what else is going on in here. So we've got a Wii U. We've got a PS4. We've got a PS3. A nice little Xbox One controller collection. We've got, of course, the Day One edition of the Xbox One. So all you guys, whenever you guys see me tweet stuff out, kind of hating on the Xbox One, I was there on Day One. I was definitely a supporter, but I'm still, by heart, a PlayStation fan. Uh, then up here we've got the 360, which is not hooked up right now. Dragon Ball Z Connect, anyone? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and then of course a Linksys, um, a Linksys Switch, which of course is running all of the networking for all of my consoles, and also I've got a network cable running over to the computer. Then of course my Xbox One, which I ended up trading in the day one edition for one of the matte finishes, um, and it was a two terabyte edition and stuff like that. Then we've got a Sony 7.2 surround sound system, which we're going to talk about that in a second as well. And then of course a Sony 5. Point, no, actually this is 7.1, um, but it is running the... Uh, whole home audio in the rest of the house and then a Bluetooth adapter up here as well. So that's kind of everything that's going on in here. Oh, and I almost forgot one last thing, my Astro A50s. I think this is like the 2014 model. I think it was a pair of wireless headphones because of course my all of my gaming stuff is in here and all of course I'm playing out here. So I, I didn't want wires running across the floor and all that. So these are in here. Um, and then of course you can see my, my GameCube controllers down there for, for some Smash on Wii U. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of look up here. We've got of course, the Funko Attack on Titan collection, still in box. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of stuff in box anymore, but I uh, just kind of want to go ahead and leave those in box. So I kind of like do like their packaging. Then over here, we've got disc plates. I freaking love these to death. You guys have never checked these out. They actually, you see ads all the time for them. It kind of looks a little scammy, but it's totally not. Uh, basically, they're just a magnetic thing you throw up on your wall. Warning though, they will damage the wall. If you try to rip this thing off, trust me, I'm going to leave a bunch of just nastiness behind there. But you can kind of switch these out. Of course, we got Goku and Vegeta going on here. And then, of course, Kratos. Again, huge PlayStation fan. So we got to have the kind of pain effect PlayStation sign. We've got a Nathan Drake Sideshow Collectibles. Like I said, you guys can go watch part one and see a lot more detail of what's going on here. I did not have my Master Stars from Asaki out. I kind of forgot about them. They were sitting over on my couch because my main focus is just getting this all nice, cleaned up, and pretty for a video for you guys. Then right here is one of the pride and joys of the whole room, a 65 inch 4K Sony TV. This thing is freaking awesome. As you guys can see, a nice little uh, kind of hint at Xenoverse 2, because there is going to be tons of Xenoverse 2 content coming to the channel, but I want to go ahead and have that up on the TV when we made this video. PlayStation Sun, an authentic like 1998 PlayStation Sun from like a Software Incorporated or um, EB, EB Games or something like that. 
And they've come up here. One last thing I left out too the other day was a Tamashi Buddies Broly, which of course I, I loved these to death, but I ended up selling all of them and I kept the Broly and took him off. Of course, his these are the ones that have like the background backdrop to them. I didn't really care for that too much. Uh, anyways, and then over here we have a J. Savai and Darius uh, toasters, which I've had for years now. Like seriously, I've had these for over three years. But they look so good, and they look so clean, and they're super stylish. Down here, we of course have got a Klipsch 12 inch subwoofer. Then if you come over here, we've got a Klipsch 8 inch subwoofer. And then if we look above, sorry, I'm making making the camera woman run over the place. We've got a Klipsch, um, I think it's the HDT 600 surround sound system. And of course it's wired, super clean for the most part. Um, you, you guys can kind of see that. She's doing a nice little spin around for you guys. And we're going to come back to this in just a second. This will be the grand finale. Obviously, we've got a projection system going on. We're going back to that. That'll be the grand finale of this video. Super excited to kind of show that off too. Uh, then, of course, down here, we've got a nice little footrest storage. We've got, of course, my Dokkan at Battle device. Basically, it's my NVIDIA Shield in its case. Two PlayStation colors, white and red. Definitely, those are my favorites. I've got a couple of blacks too, but um, those are kind of worn out. One of these is actually worn out pretty bad too. As you guys can see, I've got the kind of the... the effect that happens to these once they're a little older it starts deteriorating controller for of course the tv and the surround sound over there and then if you come over here where the sub was we've got philips hue accent lighting we've got a dualshock 4 20th anniversary controller could not open it because it's so freaking awesome i'm pretty sure these were a limited sell we've got black ops 3 collector's edition um I may not be able to get this open. It's not worth it. But we've got uh, uh, coasters right there. And then a Juggernog actual functioning with sound effects refrigerator. It holds 12 cans. You can get four cans, six or four cans, four bottles in there, but it's still really cool. A lot, little light up effect up on top. And then of course we've got the couch for hanging out and all that good stuff. And can't have a couch in a game room without some Dragon Ball Z pillows. The I Am Legend Broly pillow. And of course, the Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan with one of his sayings on it as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and show off the Batman pillow and the Bioshock Infinite pillow. I friggin' love. Well, I'm not gonna lie, like it, it's it's funny that I'm excited about pillows, but they're so cool. They're so cool. Of course, Hearthstone pillow and a BBA pillow. On this shelf, though, is love the shelf to death. It is, of course, all of my Blizzard kind of heroes shelf, all of the, kind of the Blizzard um, licensing type stuff. And the Holy Grail over here on the shelf is, of course, the 1008 piece SDCC Shadow Illidan. Uh, if you guys are Funko collectors, you guys will know that this is kind of a rare piece, and honestly, it's one of my pride and joys of my collection these days. And then above that is, of course, a Bioshock shelf. We've got the original Bioshock on PS3 over there, of course, with the big daddy and a little sister. An actual, somewhat functioning um, skyhook. It actually does spin. I won't take it down because it'll knock stuff over, but it does actually spin, does it do its thing. Of course, we got we got Booker, and we've got Elizabeth, and then of course Songbird. And then above there we have more <laughs> more Nathan Drakes, more of course a ESC toy Last of Us represent right there. He does awesome work, you guys should go check him out for some of his stuff. I actually have a Nathan Drake, but his head fell off. And so that, that part kind of sucked. We've got Nathan Hale from Resistance and Resistance 2. We've got Little Big Planet uh, Sackboy, and of course a Kratos Sackboy over there. And then we've got some Symbiote, which I don't know if they're a company anymore. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. But a symbiote from QuakeCon. Uh, we've got, of course, one for Skyrim and then one for Doom. And then, of course, we've got some Fallout 4 stuff up there because Fallout 4 is awesome. And then, huge How I Met Your Mother fan, another display. Of course, like I said, these are all metallic, so I could take that off and switch it over there and so forth. Edge of Tomorrow. Freaking awesome movie. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check it out. Super underrated. And, of course, we got Game of Thrones memorabilia. Can't have, can't have a, a game room these days without something Game of Thrones, right? Then on this shelf, we've got Overwatch Funko Pops. Overwatch is such a good game, and the characters are awesome. That's what makes those games so much fun. And then, of course, League of Legends figures. If you guys are League players, definitely in the comments below. Maybe we can play sometime. But uh, basically, Collector's Edition, they include Amumu and uh, these little Poros. And then, of course, Lucian. And then, one of my favorites is probably the Thresh, just because the animation kind of style they did on Thresh's head there. And then above that on that, on the shelf above that, is of course more of my Batman memorabilia. We got Harley Quinn that fell over up there. She's one of those Funko Pops with the, the, the bigger head than her body can support. So she falls over a lot. I actually had her fixed before we started making this video. And as you can see, she fell over before we could even get recorded into that part. Then a Final Fantasy inspired Batman, which I'm super excited about. The Rainbow Batman. Um, and yeah, I just I, I love it to death. Arkham Collection, of course, up there. But now let's talk a little bit about what's going on here at the desk. Of course, we've got the green DX Racer. Um, this chair is so comfortable. You guys see me in this chair in every video I make. And if you guys watch my Twitch live stream, I'm in that chair as well. 
But we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the desk a little bit, but I'm gonna actually make a video. I thought about it, I'm gonna make a video dedicated to everything going on on the desk and, and so forth. But let's talk about the desk for at least a little bit. Of course we've got a little green thing that fell off of the chair, but we've got a desk that my father-in-law made. This desk is incredible, it was a seven foot long. If you guys are wondering, Nano, why why do you have a seven foot long desk? Well, as you can see, there's a 34 inch ultra wide here, a 28 inch 4K here, and then I also run another monitor from time to time over here as well. So I needed as much space as possible to work, and that means actual for my actual job, work for YouTube, you know, my YouTube channel, and just obviously playing games and people coming over. So if someone came over, they could actually sit up here and they could play over here and do their thing while I'm over here on my thing, and we still got plenty of room because this can actually stand over to like here. So it, two people could be on this desk working, playing, and so forth without any problems. Um, and then come over here, we've got my A40 uh, TRs, my A40 Terminate Readies, which of course you can you know, swap out the, the earphones on and the back plates and the mic and the top piece and all that. I actually have, have the green one, I just don't have it on there right now. Then my Razor Blade, which of course is amazing. It's got the 970M in it. Let's see, if it's got some juice here. We can kind of show it off at least a little bit. There you go, guys. This is of course is for traveling and doing things outside of this room. Just kind of a nice little treat to myself. And another little Broly figure. If you guys didn't believe me before, you should now. Plenty of Broly uh, figures in this room for sure. And Broly, of course, like I said, a Broly pillow. We've got the Elgato HD60 for recording all of my stuff on. And then we've got the Corsair 900D. Now, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna go into another video and we'll talk about this a little bit more and everything that's inside this. But to give you guys an idea, it's got a GTX 1080. It's got an i7 and it's a beast. So, and honestly, it gets more use out of it editing videos than it does playing games these days. But hopefully we can change that soon with some Twitch streams. Anyways, anyways, and if you guys are PC gamers, let me know in the comments below, let me know kind of what, what your setup is and kind of what you guys are rocking. But of course, above here, above the, the closet that's full of just basically crap, uh, we've got my Figuarts Zero Collection. Now, I'm missing two. So I'm missing the, the Kid Boo that is just released and I actually haven't got him in yet. And I'm missing the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks one, which of course is over in one of my Detolfs because I thought he looked better over in my Detolf than he did up there. Then, right between the closets, we've got a Funko minifigures collection, which is all of them. I just went ahead and bought a box of 12 and had all of them in it. And uh, <laughs> these characters are so awesome. Below that, we've got of course my Matrix Funko collection with the Ultimate Matrix collection that I never have opened. This, this guy is almost 10 years old. I know my mom got him for me back when I was like 15 years old. And I just have never opened it because I thought it'd be worth money someday. It's not, but I thought it might be. Below that, we've got, of course, the limited Earth figures from the Riot merch store and the uh, the Season 3 Championship Thresh. And then, of course, another Vi figure because Vi is one of my favorite figures. She's not a favorite character. She's not, like, the best in the game right now, but still got to represent for one of my favorite characters. So, now then, grand finale. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what is going on over here. Okay, so here we go. The grand finale, of course, the thing... You know, probably one of my, also, I've said this a bunch, I've said one of my favorite pieces is this room, but I just, I love this room to death, as you guys can tell, but 120 inch projection screen, that is of course hidden by that, it's electric, it does come down, of course that's why I edited it out, because it does take quite some time, and then as you guys can see, we've got a BenQ W1080 short throw projector, projector, projection, <laughs> projector up here, we do have the, the cable kind of ran down, what I need to do is actually, Whenever you guys see my, my kind of desk video I'm gonna do for that, you guys will see how I covered up a lot of the wires. But I need to do that for this as well and kind of cover that up. I just haven't got around to it yet. But anyways, guys, so when people come over, we, of course, you know, watch Game of Thrones, we watch other stuff. We, of course, throw it up here with, of course, the, the 5.2 surround sound system, the 12 inch, the 8 inch. They definitely hit, you know, different different uh, different levels of bass. And so it definitely sounds really, really good in this room. Like I said, I'm about to do a kind of preview, kind of show you guys what it, what it looks like when you're in here, you know, you're in here at night because that's that's the time when all these LEDs do shine. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna cut to that here in just a second. But yeah, 120 inch screen. Got my PS4, got everything ran to it. As you guys can see, I have it set up to where you can project the same thing to both the TV and to the projectors. That way, I don't know, I don't know why I did it, but it's just kind of cool. And then also when people come over, of course, generally I'll go ahead and be nice, let someone have the TV or let someone have a projector, let them choose. And then we kind of just land it up and, and do that kind of sort of thing. But let's go ahead, let's go ahead and let you guys see what it looks like in this room with all the lights off and kind of get the feel for that. Actually, before we do that, I forgot to mention when we were up here looking at these Batman figures, I have one more Philips Hue kind of light behind that, which kind of also gives it more ambiance when you're kind of in here chilling out and editing videos at night, playing games at night and doing that thing. So let's go, let's tell you guys see what it looks like in this room with all of the lights off. Anyways, 
guys, that was my game room, of course. Super excited to finally show this off to you guys. And like I said, we're gonna have we're gonna have a video over. Pro I'm, I think I'm gonna go and do a behind the scenes video, of what it looks like whenever I'm actually filming my videos in here, and then of course a bit an overview of just my desk, everything on my desk, everything I use, kind of going on in that. The details on kind of the monitors and all that kind of sort of stuff. But but guys, that will wrap up today's video. If you guys did not check out part one, definitely go check out part one. Definitely leave a like on this video because I definitely enjoyed making it. Definitely enjoyed bringing this content to you guys. And kind of different, actually, it's someone filming me, so that was definitely pretty cool to bring a video like that to you guys as well. Uh, like I said, that's going to wrap up today's video. You guys have a great, great day. Nano Jinx here signing off. You guys keep on keeping on. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.